Hey guys, Chef Wu Can here. How are you? Happy New Year for the Chinese New Year's coming up next week. It's the Year of the Rabbit. I just want to let you know that we will be making today Vietnamese pho. Okay. Now, many of you probably have tried it and you love it. And I'm going to show you the easiest way to make it. Okay. Um, the traditional way is by using beef bones. The marrow inside the bones will give it the flavor. And basically you buy a whole ton of beyond bones, you put it in a bucket and you boil it and simmer it down for like six hours. All right. Well, my concern is who has the six hours? So they have packages. Did you see it? Of the herbs used in the pho soup. All right. This is called Gia, G I A V I P H O Pho Pasteur, P A S T E U R. And basically, all it is is a packet. And you buy two containers of beef broth, college broth, add that one packet in. Then you take an onion, have it, and you take a ginger root and you have it and you stick it in the broiler and you char it as best you can. By charring it will release the flavors in the ginger and the onion. So here you have two containers of beef broth in your pot. You can add a little bit of water, maybe a cup of water to that. Maybe you want to enhance it a little bit more after you taste it, maybe a little fish sauce. But remember, when you have a salty, you want to add a sweet. So you may want to add some sugar, brown sugar, any kind of sugar, right? So you get that balance of flavors. Then you add your charred onion as well as your charred ginger. Let it simmer for maybe like 40 minutes. Taste it, adjust it to your liking, all right? And that's it, that's your broth. Everything else is add-ons okay so what we have here is thai basil how is it different than regular basil especially now with the winter they have the hydro basils um, the thai basil is a little bit more aromatic you can only get them at the asian market um, it's very very good and so you add a sprig or two to that then we have bean sprouts this gives it the crunch Right? So you want to make sure that the bag of bean sprouts is not sitting around for a while, that it's not brown, and it's bright, opaque color. You don't want it to be brownish color. All right? This is a ribeye steak. This is cut very thinly. Right? So this steak, you can add it. You can have it well done. You can add it to the broth, have it medium rare. That's really up to you. And here is the noodles. The noodles are boiled beforehand. These are wide noodles, wide thin noodles. You can probably pick some up at Wegmans or the Asian markets. They're usually dried. And basically you just boil it until it's al dente. Al dente is not overcooked, not undercooked. All right, that, you want it just that nice bite. Take it out, rinse it on the cold water to stop the cooking process. And there's your noodles. So what you're gonna do is Get a bowl, fill it with noodles, fill it with some bean sprout, fill it with some basil. Okay, let me show you. All right, here's the noodles here, here's the bean sprout, here's the basil. Okay. <clears throat> then, if you want to add jalapeno, just cut a jalapeno out and you can add it to the uh, bowl. Now we want that broth to be scorching hot so we'll cook it really hot and high and once it achieves its boiling point then we'll put it in the uh, bowl and then we'll add the meat. Now if you want your meat to be well done you can add the meat to the soup base and let it cook, overcook it but if you want it to be medium rare just stick it into your bowl add the broth over the beef and it will start cooking. All right. As you know in addition, we can add a couple of things, 
rather than have waste the lime, we're using real lime juice, right? To give it the acid. Then we have the hoisin sauce, right? Then we have the sriracha sauce. So you can add that, mix it all together, and it's done. It's one, two, three. So um, it's fairly easy. The whole idea that you had to buy the bones, yeah, that's the old way. But today, they've pretty much, the manufacturers have made it so much easier to include all the ingredients that you would otherwise put in the broth into a little packet. And these are the packets. Okay. So if you have any questions, I mean, that's all you got to do. And let me just show you, right? The broth has been cooking for a while for us. And I'm just going to add a little bit of meat. All right? See? Now I add the broth. Now, you could add um, ginger to this, if you like. It's up to you. But this is cooking. This is going to be delicious, savory, scrumptious, and fairly easy. So, try it out. It's at your Asian market. H-Mart is a big one. Um, Great Wall Asian Market in Maryland is a big one, but Great Wall has been around around the country for uh, in a number of states. I don't know exactly which states, but it's uh, they have a lot of good stuff, and H Mart as well has a lot of good stuff. So I want to cheer to you, Happy New Year, Aloha, from the state, great state of Maryland, and wish you a happy 2023, the year of the rabbit, next weekend. All right, so thank you very much. Um, log on to my website, chefwhocan.com. I have an Etsy website, www.etsy.com slash shop slash creations by Wu. That have some ingredients and some, um, if you have a sweet tooth, we got a couple of cravings there in terms of peanut brittle, um, uh, uh, pecan hurdles, uh, biscotti, um, and a lot of good stuff and holiday, uh, Valentine's uh, pretzel, pretzel rods. So, you know, it's full of lots of good information on the Etsy account. My website is very informative, educational. And I uh, just want to let you know that thank you for supporting me. And I hope you continue to support me in 2023. All right. So take care. Bye bye.